Welcome to two examples on how to determine the limits of composite functions, where each composite function is a function composition of itself. For the first example, we have the limit as x approaches negative 3 of f of f of x. We begin by determining the limit as x approaches negative 3 of the inner function f of x using the graph below. So we're approaching x equals negative 3, which would be this vertical line here, and we're approaching from the left, or from this direction, as well as from the right, meaning from this direction. Notice we're approaching the y value or function value of positive four, and since the y values of the inner function become the inputs for the outer function, and f of x is discontinuous at x equals four, it's important to recognize here we're approaching the y value or function value of four from below, or from values less than four. This indicates the limit as x approaches negative three of f of f of x equals the limit as x approaches four from the negative side or from values less than four or from the left of the outer function f of x. And now we find this one-sided limit. We're approaching x equals four, which again is where f of x has discontinuity, but we're only approaching from the negative side or left side, which is from this direction here. We're approaching a y value or function value of negative two, which indicates the limit as x approaches negative three of f of f of x equals negative two. Let's look at a second example. Here we have the limit as x approaches one of g of g of x. Once again, we begin by determining the limit as x approaches one of the inner function g of x. Here's x equals one. We're approaching from both directions, meaning from the left and from the right. Notice we are approaching the y value or function value of negative three. And because the outer function is also g of x and g of x has discontinuity at x equals negative three, again, it's important to recognize here we're approaching the function value or y value of negative three from above or from values greater than negative three, which indicates the given limit is equal to the limit as x approaches negative three from the positive side or right side of the outer function g of x. And now we find this one-sided limit. We're approaching x equals negative three, which is here. And we're approaching from the positive side or right side, which would be from this direction here. Notice in this case, it wouldn't matter which direction we're approaching. Either way, we are approaching a y value or function value of positive five, which gives us our limit. The limit as x approaches one of g of g of x equals five. I hope you found this helpful.